Hey guys, it's Naked. Welcome to another stream. We're going to be uh, hopefully closing the deal on our sweet boy Puppet Jace tonight. Pretty excited for that. Let's take a look at him. Boom. Ooh, so pretty. Tickle, tickle. They've fixed the bug where we constantly hear that sound, at least. Uh, let's look at the play modes. Uh, I am of the mind to complete this with some mono red, which is super fun. Wednesday brawl. What is brawl? Built around. Oh, it's like it's like EDH. Okay. Rakdos sacrifice. We played a little bit last night after bed, or after we stopped the stream, and it was super fun. Um, but it's constructed today and tomorrow, so we're gonna be looking at. The new decks that we've been playing, we've got Red Deck Wins, we've got Rakdos Sacrifice, Tamur Adventure we just all built. Uh, the whole idea is to try and get a feel of what the meta is going to be coming up here. So let's get started with some games. Let's change this to Red Deck Wins, and let's do some best of one. Best of one ranked, yo! I'm just going to check on the Twitter real quick, make sure that my sound isn't crazy weird or anything. So if you hear double for a second, it's just because OBS has been really dumb for a little bit. Good. It's working. <laughs> uh, so this is a keeper in my opinion. We'll go Scorch Spitter, Runaway Steamkin, Fervent Champion. <clears throat> or... Mm, yeah, I still think that plan is good. Or maybe we run out the Fervent Champion for now. No, let's stick with our plan. Knights is fun. We do have a shock for something big. Mm -hmm. No blocks. Ooh, look at you. Look at us. No tax yet. So next turn we can have three attacks. It's not quite enough yet for Embercleave with the mana that we've got. <sighs> no blocks. So if I attack with that, that costs three. We can't make this work yet. Next turn, we've definitely got the Ember Cleave play. Probably on the steam can. And we have enough mana to play it twice. Either way, I think we're going to get our quest done for Puppet Jace. And that's what's truly important here, boys. So right now, we have enough to cast Embercleave and Shock so we can kill his whole board, essentially. Now, he could have the Invincible stuff, which could be a problem. Or it could not be. Um, so we're going to respond to this with Shock. And 
and then that can go on that, sure. Resolves, next to blockers. And we will Ember Cleave Scorch Spitter because it will then kill it. Let's see if he can recover. You're at two against Mono Red, pal. What's your hair, Larry? Now, honestly, I would not have done that before blocks. I think that was a mistake. I'm trying to make him indestructible beforehand, but maybe he wanted me to pump up one of his dudes. Yeah. Okay. Good game. Platinum tier 3. Okay. Cool. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, so close! Oh, I can almost taste him. Let's do it again. Any of you guys out there would like to listen to some music, just let me know. I'm more than happy to share the entirety of Spotify with you, especially now that I've been spending like the past 30 minutes troubleshooting OBS and audio so that I can make sure that it splits it for videos and stuff. I think this is a keeper. It's a turn two steamkin at the very least. Definitely a keep. Ooh, we exiled his Shatter the Sky. That's good. Let's go ahead and play this. Ooh, that was a quick scoop. Quick ol' scoop. Bet he was mad about the shatter. It's here. Oh man, Feywolf, you're gonna miss it. Oh no. All right, let's do the pack first. It's a pack of Theros, which of the current block of cards I probably have the least amount of Theros cards, so this should have at least something new. But you know, we're not lucky, so nothing new here. Ba Bam. Ooh, we actually wanted more of these because this fits perfectly into mono red. Hmm. Very cool. Very cool. I like Phoenix of Ash. All right. Well, boys, here we go. Look at that. Here we go. Yes, I'm sure. I'm paying straight gold. Yeah, we're gonna apply it now. And now, we're gonna go play with Puffin Jace. Oh my gosh. Let's play some more red deck wins. Maybe it'll just throw them way off. Or maybe it won't, because it's on a red card. Whew, I'm all shaky. <laughs> I bought my adorable little Jace pet. Oh my gosh. Alright, what are we dealing with today? It's not bad. We can make this work. Especially on the play. The question is, do we want to... See one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna have. No, we're not gonna shock right now. We're gonna rob the rich. Ooh, 
Ooh. Took out a counter spell. He's gonna hold on to that for Embercleave, you wanna bet? Okay. Um Yeah, this is a This is most certainly a Ooh. We got a brazen bar. Yeah, we'll buy, we'll pay for that. Why not, right? Maybe he's got his own. Let's just leave it exiled and put our Anex out for right now. Brazen Bower is great, but it doesn't help us with Embercleave. Or Anex, for that matter. Okay. So right now, we can Embercleave. Let's see if they've got an answer here. It's blue-green. We're just taking so many cards. Mm. You know what? Let's Scorch Spinner, Spitter, and Grow Spiral. Okay. Bye. Oh, he's scooping. Okay. The plan was to play the Steam Can attack with three, use the Brazen Borrower to bounce anything, but he scooped anyway. Oh, we forgot to play with Jace! We were so caught up in the fires of our mono red deck. This time, let's give him a tickle, see what he does. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Hmm. Going against a fast deck. I wonder if they're gonna play this deck after everything's said and done. Hopefully we get another land and we can rob the rich with room for shock. But we'll see. It's got another doodad. Okay, good. Let's do shock here. It's fine. And then we will rob the rich. Ooh, that's mine. That's mine. Bone Crusher next turn. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Anex is way better. Let's do that. Just attack with the robber. Okay. Now we have the mana for an Ember Cleave.
So right now, if I give him plus one, plus one, and that's 10, it'll be first strike, that'll die, or let's do this. Let's put it on the Scorch Spitter. <clears throat> and then we can move and kill. Okay. Okay. Pretty pleased with that. It's pretty good. Does need the blockers though. <clears throat> This would be an interesting combat trick. Because I get to put the one that I get to keep out there. It would be great to draw a shock or another bone crusher. <sighs> Interesting choices. Interesting. <clears throat> mm, okay. Let's do... Let's see, that's three. We can just all out attack. Hmm, how do we want to do this though? I think we want to surprise them. He obviously doesn't think that I have Amber Cleave in my hand. Unless I'm completely wrong about how Legendary works now. Which I could be. Who knows? Hmm. So if I do this, it kills Lurus. We do eight. Let's do that. No, nine. No, even more. Oh, are you dumb? A little bit.
So that's 10, 11. We still didn't play with him. <laughs> Even against your dirty Luris decks. I don't want to do a standard anything right now. I'm talking to Feywolf last night about the same thing, but just don't feel like going up against Jessica and Luca or Winota. It's not my favorite at the moment. This is a keeper. We get one land, we're good. Damn! Ooh, let's go to View Battlefield. Maybe now we can play with Jace. Yeah! <gasps> Look at you! <laughs> <sighs> oh man, one thing that's really exciting about the next couple of days is we will see a... We'll keep this. Um, a new D&D video out tomorrow for episode two. And I used some new editing software, DaVinci uh, Resolve, which I really, really enjoyed. So I think that that's going to go a long way. All right, we're going to Steamkin here. And we'll Rimrock Knight light up the stage. Or we could double light up the stage, honestly. I don't know if I really want to do that, though. But the reason I want to do that rather than rob the rich is right now I want to bump Runaway Steamkin up. Let's... I'll attack two blockers. Let's give him plus two. Boom. All right, let's light up the stage. Pretty good. We can put this mountain down. And let's put Fervent Champion down. Now, I get the feeling that we're probably going to run into some sort of Clarion here. So I'm not going to use the mana from Runaway Steamkin yet. But what I can do, if he decides to be a big ninny... Um, do I want to do that? Let's... He's probably going to bounce this. Let's do that. Because he's going to send my Steamkin back, probably. Yep. That's fine. And it's my turn now. So let's do this. Let's play Robert of the Rich. Let's send you that way. Let's send you this way. Now we've got light at the stage mana. Spectacle. And we can play this. And we can do double steamkin next turn. That'll be neat. Scorch. Or oh, no, this is just for planeswalkers. Okay. That's fine. We've got lots of answers to that. We want to put that out, and we want to put this out. <clears throat> what does this guy do again? Okay. Let's do this. Let's play Rimrock Knight. Uh, 
let's all attack. Let's both go for him. You know what? I could have just shocked him. This seems like a poor decision. But in the end, I'd rather not. I want to see what he does. But I have made a mistake here. Got too rash. Didn't think this through. Should have sent one towards his face. Now, if I really want to get nasty, I can shock, remove the counters for a Bone Crusher or an Anax. Probably an Anax would be best. Which will also give me counters on the other one, too. I could play out everything in my hand this turn if I wanted to. Because Steam Can is crazy. Now let's do this. Since we're stupid, we'll let them know. And we will remove this. What? Oh, yeah, fuck. Why does it say I can play it? Oh, because of that. No, we're not doing that. So the better play that I should have done was shock the Planeswalker, attack his face. That might cost us the game here. Let's play with Jace. Since it seems like he might be being a bit BM. He still doesn't have double white for Scorch. If he has another Clarion, we still get to keep a Steamkin. He's got the other white for a Narset. Okay, interesting. He's gonna use that. Oops. So here we rob the rich. He's got more cards than us. Next combat. We will send him that way, him that way. We will play as Tafari. We will bounce his token. Play that. And we'll play this. Maybe he's got Scorch now. Suppose we'll see. He doesn't. Hmm. He doesn't have mana for it anymore. He's got a lot of stuff on the field, though. He does now, though. Okay. We got a bunch of little dudes. Let's do this. Plus one. Let's go to combat. 
Let's do one, two, three, four, and we'll ember cleave onto onto that one. End our turn. He's still got a lot of stuff to do. Let's see. Depending on what we draw, he's got one blocker via Castle Ardenville. Do you have another Shatter? No. Okay. Karuga, so he gets to draw two cards. Okay, we'll plus this up. Let's see. Yep, let's do this. And Daddy likes best of one. Oh man, look at that hand. Look at that hand, boys. Real keep, especially versus these Yori and Luca bullshitters. We'll keep that. Are we on the play? I think we're on the play too. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh fuck, we're not on the play. Ooh, Grixis. Interesting. Well, let's try this on for size. See if he's got a disfigure. We'll play that. He's got some sort of response. We'll light at the stage. Okay. Those are both cards. Both of those are cards. Yes, yes, indeed. So he's got some cards. Let's see if he counters this. He probably will try. I don't know, he does not. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's fine. Go on. Yep. Yes, you may have your land. It will come into play tapped. Why mid combat? And then we'll shock you because otherwise it goes away. I feel like next turn's a castle in breath turn. <clears throat> Prince seems good. Maybe it won't be an in-breath turn. Hmm. So I, I kind of, instead of doing in-breath now, I'm thinking I'm going to do rob the rich, shock the prince. And we're going to go from there.
Malkov. It's a shock. It does one thing. It's two damage. Okay. That's fine. We will all attack. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Castle Imbrith will make this. Ooh. Ooh. Big whiff, baby. Two mana wasted. Wasted, I say. Now, we'll do this. We'll do this. We will attack. We'll see. Ooh, we can play that. We'll gain two life. Sure. Bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. Okay. Let's see. What does this do? Creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. So he can block one. So that'd be two. Let's see. The ones he's going to block is this guy. So that'd be two, four. Yeah, that's eight. <sighs> All attack. Ooh, we stole his Yorian? Boom. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> He's got lifelink. You gotta find something that'll kill something else. Mmm. It's pretty good. Too bad I don't have white to sacrifice this. Let's see what we get, though. <laughs> Still just a mountain. Got you good. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, he's like, quit it. Boom. Flawless victory. If anyone was wondering, the new D&D &D video is currently on YouTube, and it's wonderful. It features production value this time. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going with Red Deck Wins for now. I'm digging it. Gosh, I love this song. Go my way. Evasion. My opponent! This is a very strong hand. Okay. <sighs> is it me or him? I never look. Let's tickle him. Oops. You fell down, buddy. Come here. Come here. Dance out here. Dance with me. Yeah. All right. We will Scorch Spitter. Next turn after that, we will run away Steamkin, because that's extra mana, baby. Cauldron familiar, huh? Okay. So we got some Jund. Um, let's see if he blocks. Okay. I'm fine with that. Daco the Bay. He's probably got the uh, Trail of Crumbs. 
Oh, he's got an extra familiar. That's what it is. Okay. Hmm. And we'll light up the stage. Good old deck plays itself. Scoops. Platinum tier two. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, Chipotle for dinner. I've got some spicy burps. Sanctuary Smasher, we've seen that before. That should give us percentage, though. <laughs> Two percent. <laughs> Continuing on. Continuing on with red deck wins. Um, one of the things that I tried out last night with Rakdos Sacrifice was uh, Bolus Citadel, which I run in the Jund version because Jund has a bit more ramp. So when you think about it, mm, this is a hand. This is most assuredly a hand. Okay. We'll keep this. He goes first. This is a particularly aggressive hand. I do like it. Now, I'm thinking champion, bone crusher, any threat that comes out, robber, shock, and then we've got an ember clear, or not robber, shock, but maybe robber, shock, but most likely bone crusher, giant. That being said, we're on the draw, so maybe might change that plan. Ooh, we ain't changing shit. Fervent champion, boys. Get in there, buddy. Get in there for one. Big ol' one damage. Okay, so he is blue, red, white. Which I forget. That's Jess guy, right? Yeah. So we will do this, and we will rob the rich. And the reason we're robbing the rich instead of bone crusher gianting is because... He didn't give us any threats to kill. Now the good news is we still have a plan. Ooh, he's got black too. Curiouser and curiouser. Anax? My boy plays Anax? All right, well, let's play this. And let's all attack. We'll see what he does here. If I was him, I would probably block Rob, Robber of the Rich, just because Fervent Champion is less of a threat. Nothing, huh? Hmm. Now, what to do? What to do, what to do, what to do? I think what we want to do is we want to Rimrock Knight and just get him out on the field. And we'll play Rimrock Knight because that'll get us Ember Cleave next turn, which is good. I don't know what he's playing that has Anax and four colors. I have no idea what he's got. Rob, huh? It's not gonna do anything. Can't block, but that's fine. He has to play a card for that to work. Okay. So I think the answer here is I think we attack and we can ember cleave onto something we care about. Now, maybe I should have played Fervent Champion here. Maybe I shouldn't have. We'll see. What blocks are you going to give us? Okay. 
two blockers. So he has nothing left. He is tapped out. Now Rimrock Knight wins us the game. Boom. GG. Oh, we missed it. Okay. Homie forgot about Amber Cleave, I think. things. Who are we going up against? Karuga. This is a slower hand, but versus Karuga, I'm less concerned. The first two turns, he does nothing. So mountain, and we'll pass. Steamkin, robber. If we get a land, we get Rimrock. Ooh. Okay. Perfect. Ooh, we stole a Luca. That feels pretty good. Okay. There's seven damage downrange. Clarion's not too bad. Alright, we're gonna rob him again. holding us off but we still have answers my turn especially now we'll play that next in turn EOT I plan to bone crusher giant just so that I have something to play mm. yeah we're gonna do one of the one ones in this case Okay, EOT, we will kill one. All right, let's see. We will shock. We will kill Elspeth. And then we'll play Bone Crusher. Because now we can Ember Cleave something. That's not as bad. Because we can still Ember Cleave, boys. Let's see what he can stop. Now, he doesn't have anything he can play. Hmm. Let's go ahead and play this. And we win. I know he doesn't have anything less than three, so felt pretty confident, but I had a pause for a second there because I was like, can he respond to this? I don't think he can. Reptilian Reflection. We didn't get shit for that. 
Maybe we did. You guys can let me know. This is Xerxes, the God Prince. This strikes me as not great. Better. Better. Um, keep six and we'll ship back a mountain for now. Woo! Woo! Uh, we're probably going to get outraced. Outraced by the early play. Our, our hand is not fast. Okay. Resolve all. Do it all. Do the things. Okay. My turn. We'll play Rob the Rich. He will shock it. Because that's why he's got one mana open. Yep. Chances are this is <laughs> game. But that has got a shock too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what we get next turn. Okay. Okay. Not terrible. Mm. We'll bone crush. We'll shock. Because we're professionals. We'll take two more right now, and we'll do it at the end of turn. And that's why. Mm. Yeah, sure. We want to be able to kill other things without them becoming big and bad. Uh. Well, in turn. I wonder why he made two. Hm. Everything, huh? Hmm. Like I said, this looked like it was a foregone conclusion. Yeah, that's game. There you go. Having to mulligan, still having a slow hand. Yeah, it happens. You know what? Now that that's not there, let's move this a little bit up. <sighs> Does that turn us off to red deck wins for the night? No. <laughs> we'll keep going. This needs to go over. Avid magic player. Me too. One, two, three, four. Bow, bow, bow. Okay. Versus something with Loris. Seems good. Mm. Cycling. Okay. We'll toss castle. We will robber of the rich, and we will all attack. He has more things than us. We will take a Draineth healer. Hell yeah, boy. All he's got to interact with me is things like that. We'll play Anax. We will not attack. We'll do that next turn. Yep, go for it, buddy. Spend all your mana trying to do that. Yep, 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 yep. I don't think you're going to be faster in this case, at least. 
<sighs> we'll find out. Let's see, when I play Embercleave, it will make me a big boy. Okay, two blockers. If he blocks Fervent Champion, I will Embercleave that. Nothing? Okay. Bet you didn't think you were going to lose this turn. Embercleave. Ban this card. More gold. My gold. Let's keep going. We're climbing. we climbing, boys. Might as well keep going, right? Ooh. We got a bolus boy. Or is that a nuking boy? I don't know. Mm. On the draw. We'll keep this. It's a good hand. Scorch, Steamkin. <laughs> Homie was like, Karn, no thanks. Can't handle that. Deathsprout, we haven't seen this one. Oh, look at that art, though. Look at that. She's got bonsais growing out of her tum-tum. Destroy target creature, then search your library for a basic land card, put it into play tapped, then shuffle your library. Efficiently costed for those two effects. Wow, though, right? Now, what's interesting to me is, like, when I stopped playing, they had removed the it can't be regenerated line from a lot of the destroy effects. But I've been playing for a few weeks now coming back, and I haven't seen a lot of cards with regenerate. So what's the big deal here? Is it that regenerate was too powerful once they stopped doing that to these cards? Or... What? I don't understand, because the whole idea is that regenerate was basically useless because all the spells that destroyed creatures didn't allow you to regenerate anyway. Where are the regenerators, boys? Where are they? Let's keep going. Speed bonus. Hello, speed bonus. I'm naked. Hot, right? I go first. Yes, please. We will play a mountain. And then we will play a steamkin. And then we will play a robber. Hmm. Okay. Do we want to kill this? I feel like I want to kill this. Let's do it. Okay, this is all coming up naked. All coming up naked, boys. Robber, light up the stage. Ooh, he's gonna get it. No blocks. But we'll take it back. We'll take it out of that booty. Now, yeah, we're gonna do this. Next, all attack. We get to steal something of yours, big boy. Stole land. And now we're going to light up the stage. Okay. No blocks. You don't get anything in mind because I'm not a ninny. You do get to light up the stage and you get to not miss your land drop. So go, go you. Ooh. Got an Embercleave that you can't pay for yet. Yeah, I see it too, buddy. Ooh, now I can't pay for mine. But oh, wait. We'll get it eventually, right? All right. Oh, I should have used this mantle. Oops. Let's do oops. Let's play that. Let's play Fervent Champion. 
and we will all attack that will make it four mana which we can pay for with steamkin next interesting no blocks hmm hmm I don't think it's time for the Embercleave play that's fine I can't believe I wasted my card advantage don't you just hate that don't you just hate it? Now, he can... Mm, yeah, he can play his Embercleave. But if he attacks full out here, I don't think that he wins. Alright, let's do this. Let's see. Hmm... Let's do this. All attack. We'll do that. Boom. Okay. Didn't think we'd actually get there, but we got the Embercleave, and that's good. <sighs> Still waiting on this ban. This alleged ban to take effect. I guess when they say the fourth, it's the end of the fourth? Hmm. I wonder what uh, anything says. Maybe, maybe I'm in Narnia. Am I in my own little closeted version of MTG Arena and the bands haven't taken place for me? And that's it? Wouldn't that be lovely? One thing is weird, though. We're not seeing any Luka decks. That's right. Dance. Dance, puppet. Dance. Dance, puppet, dance. Weird how his like generic shadow stays in the same spot. Unplayable. Hi. Opponent goes first. What do you think the odds are that they're sacrifice? I feel like they're pretty good. I don't like going first with this hand as much, but it's not terrible. It's got steam can steam can shenanigans and lots of removal. Oh, there, something with green. Oh, are we going up against Winota? Is this Winota? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, we've got our guaranteed light up the stage at the very least. Question is, will he? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Chances are, we're not. Hmm. He had to mulligan a lot. Maybe he doesn't have it. We're just building up right now. No tanks. The reason we're building up is because we can shock Charming Prince next turn. Definitely deal damage for the light up the stage and hopefully not miss a land drop. Okay, so perhaps he's grabbing a, what's it called? War boss. Okay. 
that's fine. Damn. Yep, 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 yep. No blocks. Makes things tougher and yet not impossible. Let's see. We definitely want to swing. And we can kill a war boss easily. Okay. What blacks? Okay. Nothing. Interesting. Let's do this then. Let's shock you. Boom. And then we'll bone crusher you. Okay. So he's still got three possible triggers for Winota if he gets Winota right now. Which would suck, but that's Winota. But he doesn't have red mana for it. Maybe that's what he's looking for. Oh, he scoops. All right. Not horrible. I go first. Going versus a Yorian deck. We'll keep. Chances are we'll be able to rob. So let's play our Fervent. All attack. Let's see how fast they can stop us. Not that fast. Took a land away. I feel an omen of the forge. Mm, no. So let's attack. Let's see what we steal. Ooh, we got a Luca. This guy's just guy. Um let's get as much damage out as we can right now. We still get another turn. And six more damage coming across the field is really good. Got the kill. Feels good after getting our butt beat by control. Back up to one. Let's do it again. I go first, then this is a keep. Now, is it Loris Cycling? Is it Loris Enchantment Sacrifice? Ooh, it looks like it might be. Let's light up the stage first, because then maybe we'll get a mountain. No mountains. We'll Scorch Spitter. 
Doesn't feel great to see Embercleave here. There goes our light at the stage, probably. Yeah. But we still have that, so that's pretty good. Next turn, we have Embercleave. Okay. Let's see. Do we want to play the Bone Crusher? Let's attack. Next turn, he can Storm's Wrath. Let's just keep doing this. It's four damage a turn. If we get it across again, then we win. Can't play Yorian yet. Or not Yorian, L Loris. So. Whoop. Do do. Okay, surveil two, then draw. The good news is here, we can Bone Crusher and Shock EOT, especially if he doesn't have counter mana. It's the plan going forward. Let's see if he counters this. He's got to. And then if we draw mana, okay. Answers are answers. Love all the cards. I hate the mana. I do go first. Um, you know what? What are the chances we could draw a mountain, right? We'll see. We'll keep it for now. We'll keep it for now. Who cares? It's like going second. We got ourselves Winota. So it's almost a foregone conclusion. We just need to get a Steamkin down and then start killing all of his trigger creatures. If we get a mana, we can get a Steamkin down and possibly kill the Gilded Goose. Okay. That'll help him. That'll help. Shows a land. Oh, come on, guys. He just blocks with the Gilded Goose there. 
Maybe it could have gotten one damage in. Could have tried it. Hmm. So I don't think he has Winota here. That's what we like to see. Okay, so what do we do here? I feel like we attack. If he's smart, no blocks. Okay. Okay, we can do that, but we're going to do this. Now, next turn, we can Steamkin, so he gets one trigger, let's see how he does. It's not horrible. He's got protection from everything but two. Okay. Take that, Winota. It's kind of unlucky that he got everything but two versus mono red. 